next up is Jim Ross interviewing Andrade El Idolo. Steven did not like this, so I'll let Steven start. Well, I just I'm I'm already on edge with you know, I don't I don't know why they paired Andrade with with Vicky. I think, you know, Vicky was already a, you know, semi-successful manager with Nyla Rose. We didn't have to put Vicky with a Hispanic person on AEW, and that was refreshing to me that she doesn't have to be with somebody who's Hispanic. And then they get a big, you know, Hispanic star, and they just put him with Vicky, and seemingly to me, there's no there's no connection. Um, uh, and if Andrade is going to speak for himself, which he did in this interview, and he did pretty well, um, I like his gimmick. He's got the you know rich guy, perfect gimmick. Let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. The idol, Andrade, el idolo, el idolo. You're a superstar. You can't go anywhere in the world people don't know who you are. So my question to you is. Why did you choose AEW now? How many reasons? Here, many talent, many stars. But I am superstar. You know the world knows. I like that line. I like him saying, but I'm super sure it's kind of a a reference to WWE, mm-hmm. which I thought was cool. But they have like these giant subtitles on him. Like, is his Spanish re- is his English really that bad that he? Needs- yeah, I, I that's that's one of those things that sometimes like it it borders on vaguely racist. Like, I can understand him. I'm sure there are people that watch AEW that are like, "What's he saying?" But like, yeah. It's it's I mean I I hate to even call it that but it is a little bit like vaguely racist to like put up subtitles for his English like I can I can understand him very well I don't really need the subtitles like I get it using subtitles if he was going between Spanish and English right and using Spanglish but he's which not. he does at one point he does at one point at one point. But not in this part. Like a sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Of pro wrestling that AEW holds two of the greatest championships that have ever been created, and they're new. I'm also like, AEW is this big company, right? Why are they having an interview in a kitchen? (laughs) Maybe that's supposed to be his house. It's all fancy. Is it supposed to be his house? Why are they having an interview in a kitchen in front of three potted plants? Yeah, like, they're like right in front of his like refrigerator and the sink is over there and yeah. Like the classic JR interview segments, like all you need is like a little pipe and drape and some seats. Well, they do, they used to, they, I think they've done a couple of them and like, it looked like almost like a skybox in the, in the stadium, in the Jaguar yeah, stadium. That- that looks better, but like there's like a fridge in the center of the frame. Yeah, yeah. And it this guy's supposed to be this wrestling badass. And I'm just like, is he Martha Stewart? I don't know. I guess, I mean, maybe it's supposed to make him look rich. He has this like fancy looking sort of refrigerator. But, it would yeah, be funny if they were doing this interview and Charlotte Flair <laughs> walks to the fridge <laughs> and takes out some orange juice in the middle of the interview. That would be hilarious. And As like a flex. Yes. That would be the great. Greatest championships that have ever been created, and they're new, and they're hot, and they come with a lot of money. The AEW World Title, TNT Title. I would assume, without sounding overly stupid, that's on your radar. This is my next goal. I want not know. I deserve opportunity for the TNT Title. Oh, for the AEW World Title. This is my next 
a step. Another amazing surprise, we see a lot of on Dynamite, was the fact that you were presented by Vicky Guerrero. Person I've known forever, seemingly. Many things. She understands the business. She's smart. Yo soy tercera generación. Ella creció con Eddie Guerrero. Conoce la familia de Eddie Guerrero, que son muchos luchadores, igual que mi familia. This is why we have a great connection. But you need way. So she's been around a lot of wrestlers. My family is a lot of wrestlers. Thus, we are connected. Well, they both they both come from like wrestling families. I think that's a that's a decent connection. Okay. I feel you. I just wish that it was Vicky Guerrero, his manager, the one telling me this. Like, you know, I've known Andrade since he was, you know, like the way Don Callis does. Like, you know, I knew Andrade when he was a little kid and I knew he was gonna be a champion one day and yada yada. Yeah. Yada. yeah. That makes sense. Because Vicky and Andrade Lidolo have surprise. Have surprise. Surprise. What's the what, surprise? What could his surprise be? Everything <clears throat> else about this interview felt so vague. Like he's like, yeah, I'm going after both titles, maybe, you know? Everything felt vague except for that last bit of like having a surprise. You have a specific surprise, yes. So I hope that's that's worth the hype. I hope so too. You know, when you say we have a surprise, you know, that a surprise. To me, that's 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 entails like you know they have something significant to tell us or show us. Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't say, I have a surprise. They would just tell you what the thing is if it's not that surprising or interesting. What Hopefully. do we got next that's not Charlotte next Flair? Up, we you? have... In the year 1997, the future is in chaos and turmoil. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Brave survivors band together and build a time displacement apparatus to receive a signal from a parallel future. This transmission is the Boondicott. For Wundercast, man. What an adorable name. You're listening to the Wundercast. What's up, everybody? This is JC David Frank, Green Ranger. You're listening to Wundercast. Subscribe to the Vondacast.